Striped bass fishing from the boat or the beach, you can improve your scores with the addition of a teaser or a dropper in front of your lures. However, sometimes these rigs are a little frustrating as they can tangle. In this video, I'd like to show you a different version of the teaser rig, and that's coming up next. Okay, let's start out checking the traditional way that I've seen uh, these tied in the past and actually is how I did it too until uh, converting to the new rig I'm using. Basically what we'll have is a barrel swivel. This is a 60 pound test barrel swivel. Off the back eye, I have a 24 to 30 inch length of monofilament leader which goes to a snap which connects to the plug. In this case, a little tiny five inch mambo minnow for the spring. That's when you're gonna see these teaser rigs a lot when the fish are on smaller bait, okay? Now, off of the front eye, a six to eight inch length of 50 pound test mono to the teaser. This can be just, a, this is just a simple bucktail teaser obviously, but it can be any fancy one that you, that you like. And also off of the front eye, this would be my running line back to the rod. Now, what ends up happening here is no matter how tight you tie this dropper leader onto this eye, when a fish takes the teaser, it's going to pull, pull and that's going to slide back around the ring like so. It's not 90 degrees anymore. It's back here against the barrel. Now, as it's traveling through the water, you'll see they're very close together. And when you're casting, even retrieving, what's going to end up happening is you'll see that you're going to end up eventually with that. You're going to spend the whole night doing this and un unwrapping it. So uh, I've modified this rig and we're going to look at that next. Okay, so this is a modified version. Uh, all the components are the same. The leader lengths are all pretty much the same. Uh, however, for this, I've incorporated the use of uh, T-Turn. These are made by a company called Thunder Mist Lures, and they are wonderful. I, I have a fluke video, a fluke rig video on my channel as well, uh, where you can see using these for fluke. However, they also work beautifully in uh, this, this dropper rig. So this particular one here, uh, you'll see it on my fingertip here, that's a 30 pound test, 90 degree barrel swivel. Uh, he also has them, I think it's 80 pound or 90 pound, which is uh, just slightly larger, but uh, these, these are wonderful. So let's take a look at this. So off of one leg, I have my 25 pound test, again, 24 to 30 inches, to a small snap to the plug, off of the 90 degree turn, I have my six, eight inch length of 50 pound mono to the teaser. Now, it doesn't matter if a fish takes this teaser or not. They're not going to bend that. Trust me, uh, I haven't had one bend yet. Uh, but the nice part is as you're casting or retrieving it, you'll notice where on the other rig, when I did this, it just spun itself around the leader. This just is free spinning. This piece is free spinning around here and it doesn't tangle, it's a lot less headaches, uh, just works better. Uh, so that's, that's pretty much it. Check out thundermistlores.com uh, and these are called T-turns. Add them to your dropper rigs for your striped bass and I think you're gonna save yourself some headaches. Okay everybody, I hope this teaser rig helps you improve your scores with striped bass this season. And I'd love to hear about it in the comments down below if it does. Until the next time, tight lines, everybody.